I got you. All right. All right, we're going to start over. Camera obscura. So we're going to start start to finish. So sa safety, you want to hand the blade to someone. Handle first. Make sure the blade is put away. Your first step is you're going to remove the lid. Do not cut the lid. Then you're going to measure 12 centimeters. So you're going to use a ruler from the front of the box. Front or back, it doesn't matter. So 12 centimeters. And then you're going to add two inches. Actually, we'll just call it three centimeters additionally onto that, okay? You're going to draw your lines going across the box. The real important one is that first cut though, that 12 centimeters. Because what that is, is your focal length. You're going to be putting your lens in here and you want that focal length to be exactly 12 centimeters. So that you're going to cut your box along those two lines on both sides. So you want to make, it's a general rule, you always want to cut down or away from you. You never want to cut towards you because if you slip, you're going to end up cutting your finger off. We don't want that. So very carefully, these are, like I said, these are very sharp. You should not have to use a lot of pressure, just a little bit. I know. I know. And then you cut straight down. You're cutting down. I know, you kind of have to on that first cut though. So just be very careful. And then you're going to do the same thing to this side. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. And now it's cooked again. Okay. Again, if you need help at any point, don't be afraid to ask. Awesome. Hang on to these kind of pieces because they will come in handy. We have a box located right over there that's for usable scrap pieces, okay? So we'll set that one aside. So this side is gonna be our 12 centimeters. Is that right? Yep. So this is the side that your lens is gonna be on. Okay, you might wanna mark that. That's why I draw a quick circle like that so you know that it's gonna be there. So that's this piece here. So if we break it down, we're gonna cut it along the side here. You can either cut it from the inside, whatever. You just wanna make sure you're cutting away from you if you can. <laughs> and then you have these little extra pieces. You can go ahead and lose those as well. You don't need those. This piece right here might come in handy for something like that. So we'll go ahead and keep that around. You don't have to. People have been asking me about the glue parts. I've been telling them, keep, leave them on if you can, because it just add, all it does is add stability to your box. So now we have our, this piece pretty much done. And now we'll do the back piece. Same thing. You're gonna want about a half inch frame here. So you're just gonna measure a half inch this way. And yes, I realize I've mixed metric with standard. Making, I'm measuring half inches, then all you gotta do is just go like that. Like that. Like and like that. And then you're gonna cut out, this is your viewfinder, okay? Yes? So all these steps will be the same, just cutting off the top of the lid if you had it attached? Yes, if the lid is attached, you're gonna cut it off, and then you, you might have to add a piece like this onto the side. So you, and you might want to wrap it around if you have enough extra, just to add a little stability because some of them are rounded. Like this one here was rounded, you can see in here. So they added that to add some stability. Okay, so then you're gonna cut out, this is your viewfinder. This is where you're going to attach your paper, your wax paper, to actually capture your image. Again, cut with purpose and go slow. I'm not gonna cut my finger because my finger's not in the way. We have to draw the image. What was that? What if your knife slips? So That's why you cut away from you. 
Would you be mad if one of us was to get rich? I'd be very upset. Not mad at you, but... So that's why cutting, taking time, cut with a purpose, go slow, this is not a race. And if you're uncomfortable with it, just ask for help. If you're uncomfortable using a knife, you can use a scissor for a lot of these. Use a knife to start your cut and use the scissors to finish it off. Isn't it straighter with what? Um, not necessarily. I would think scissors might be actually a little straighter if you really wanted to use it that way. Yes. <laughs> what was that? Yes. You could cut yourself. That's why it's important. Ooh, you need to cut yourself. Dang. You don't want to do that. All right. So there's our viewfinder. We're going to take off the glue here and remove these pieces on the inside. That would have made her cutting a little easier, I think. So now we have our second piece, which looks like that. Correct? Okay, every box is a little different in size. If you get this far today, great. You can keep going. Okay, so this makes a great example because this is exactly the size of the lens. So all you gotta do is you can put it on here. You wanna make sure that this hole is closer to the seam. This is very important because when you put it into the box, it actually takes off about an inch and a half. So you wanna make sure that lens hole is up high. Understood? Okay. So you just put this in here, find your seam, and go about a half inch below that. That is a really easy trick to cutting out circles. Okay? Instead of pulling your knife around, put your knife in and turn the box if you can. It'll help make things a lot easier. So anytime you can move the box. That way you can keep that knife pointed away from you as well. Pop out that. Again, these there's a bunch of these laying around too. You could use this as a guide as well. All right. <clears throat> so now we have our two parts, right? The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your guides. These are what's going to hold your lens in place. You'll notice that they're a little bit smaller than the uh, the lens itself. If your lens is going to sit here, you're going to cut these, so these will work really well for that. So you're going to take these and then staple them in to hold your lens in place. Does that make sense? Okay. So find two pieces. Again, these are smaller. Let me see the pen here. Got one there. Somebody grab me a piece of scrap out of the box there. There looks like there's one right down there. Uh, this one? <laughs> Not quite big enough. <laughs> yes. Then that piece is going to be stapled onto here to actually hold your lens in place. You're going to need two of those. Will this work? Yep, that'll work. Nice, dude. Nice. Ready, ready, nice. We're almost done. Are you going to put this on YouTube? Yep. I'm going to put this on YouTube for you guys with instructions and all that stuff. So if you want to reference it. Oh, watch that. Don't worry, times. I'm going to take up some of the volume and put in <laughs> music. Ah. Oh. So we have to draw the image. <laughs> yep, you'll be recording your here. image by drawing on the paper. The so if right. I scream right, right now. Let's templates together where it's going to All that goes together. Alright, so if you get this far today, awesome, because from here, it's all it is is assembling.